Good morning everyone. A very warm welcome to all the students of class 2nd to today's online session of St. Joseph's Academy, Ghazibad. Myself, Swati Malik will be presenting this video. Children, today we will study the topic of letter writing in English grammar. Letter writing. In olden days children, for communication, letters were very important. Nowadays also, letters are used to send or receive messages from each other in formal or informal ways. Today we live in an age of advanced connectivity. In an age of email, Facebook, Skype and what more. But the age old letter writing was not extinct. For various purposes, we still write letters not only for official purposes but for other personal reasons as well. Apart from these, letter writing has its own place and impact. Let us learn this art of writing letters. So, kids, today we will learn how to write letters and what does the letter writing means letter letter is the means of communication that combines a text message which can be handwritten typed or printed sent by one person to another person via mail or post so as to inform, complain, report, inquire or request something. So kids, letter means a written communication through which we can send our text message to the other person. It can be handwritten, typed or printed. We can send it by post or by mail. What is a letter? A letter is a written message which is sent to someone usually in an envelope or by post. So children, this is the definition of letter. I repeat once again. A letter is a written message which is sent to someone usually in an envelope or by post. There are two types of letter. First one is formal letter and second one is informal letter. Formal letters are used for business and professional purposes and the language which are used in the formal letters is simple language while the informal letters are sent for personal communication and these letters can be casual or emotional ones. We can use the words as per our choice. Formal letters Applications Letters to editors Official letters Letters to and from organizations government departments, etc. Letters to school principal, letters to head of institutions. All the letters of this category belong to formal letters, while the informal letters include the letters which are written to parents, relatives, and friends. In formal letters, we can write our own emotions and views, while in formal letters, we use specific words to express our thoughts. How to write a formal letter? Here, 
I will share one specimen to write a formal letter. There may be some changes while writing from one organization to other. But I will be sharing one common format. This is one of the format of informal letter which we write to our friend, family and relatives. Here first we have to write down our address. The person who sends the letter supposed to write down the address. 10 slash 1 E Karul Bagh, New Delhi. We have to write down the pin code of that particular area. Then write down the date on which we are writing the letter. Next is salutation or greeting. We have to write down dear and the name of person to whom you are sending the letter. Dear friend, dear Rahul, dear mummy, etc. Next is the body of the letter. We may start our letter like I hope my letter finds you in good health. You will be glad to know. This is where we, you write in detail, informal or personal tone. This part you can have three paragraph. Paragraph one, you can write in brief about the purpose of writing. Second is you can write detail about the purpose and paragraph three includes the concluding line. In informal letters, we can choose our own words to write the letters and explain it in our own ways. Then after concluding the lines, we write with love affectionately. Complimentary closing. We can also write yours truly, yours lovingly, etc. And the last one is your name. So children, this is the letter which is given in your book. Question number one, write a letter to a friend congratulating him or her on his or her success in examination. Here, the letter begins with the address of your house. For example, B25 Patil Nagar, Ghazibad, UP. Following the PIN code that is 201001. Here you can write down your own address while writing the letter. Next date 16th August 2021. You can write down the same date on which you are writing the letter. Dear friend, here you can write the name of your friend also. For example, Dear Ria, Dear Ram, etc. I am delighted to hear that you have topped in the National Herd Search Examination. I am very proud of to have a brilliant friend like you. Accept my heartiest congratulations. In the body of letter, we can write down our own emotions we can increase or decrease the words as per our choice. You may include one or two more lines to congratulate your friend. Then you have to write down the salutation, yours truly. You can also write yours lovingly. Then at the end of the letter, you have to write down your name. Next letter is an example of formal letter. Here one letter is given. Question number two. Write an application to the principal of your school for granting you sick leave for three days. So kids here we will learn how to write down the letter to the principal for sick leave. 
first we have to write down the principal then the name of your school St. Joseph's Academy Ghazibad UP then you have to write down the date 16th August 2021 respected father we begin our letter with respected father or you can also write respected principal with due respect I beg to state that I am suffering from fever the doctor has advised me to take bed rest for three days therefore I request you to grant me sick leave of three days from 17th to 19th August here kids you have to mention the dates on which you are supposed to take leave for the three days for which you are applying for the leaves then at last we have to say thanking you yours obediently your name and class at the end of the letter okay children that's all for today's class only two letters will be coming in your examinations so you have to prepare both these letters write down these letters in your copies and prepare it well thank you kids for joining the class that's all for today's class i hope you all have enjoyed your class well see you soon take care goodbye